Hello, hello, hello. Zach from Conversation Critiques here, and welcome to Across the Musical Globe, where we take a look at songs made by bands and artists from foreign countries, regardless of the language barrier. Today, we travel back to the Philippines to discuss the SB19 song, Gento, which is a pun on the words Ginto, meaning gold, and Ganito, which means like this. Let's explore. This song comes from the group's second EP, Pog to Talk, which literally translates to establishment. And the song was released as a single on May 19th, 2023. It peaked at number 11 on the Philippines Songs Chart and at number 8 on the US World Digital Song Sales Chart, both of which are affiliated with Billboard. Plus, it made SB19 the first Filipino act to reach India's iTunes charts. I can see why this song received some recognition because the only word that comes to my mind when describing this song is remarkable. Produced by Simon Servita, one of the singers Pablo, and his brother Joshua Daniel Nase, this track has a lot of hard hitting elements as snappy percussion beats, a booming bass line, and hand claps laid the groundwork for the song to kick in. In the only post chorus, a glitchy yet wiry sound effect that sounds like a high pitched buzzsaw can be heard in order to symbolize the challenges the guys go through on a daily basis, while the clanging percussion in the outro represents the celebration of overcoming those obstacles. Plus, the instrumental break near the end of the song showcased an unknown woodwind instrument that not only is it really catchy, but also pays homage to their Asian roots. Just like their song I reviewed not long ago, Bazinga, all of the members interchangeably take turns throughout various sections of this tune in order to highlight how to have a positive outlook on life when negativity and self-doubt get in the way. Justin and Stell singing still emulate swagger through their middle registers, both Josh and Pablo rap in a very bold manner, especially Pablo, as he rapped in a fast pace in the last half of the second verse, which I didn't even know he could do. Also, it's no surprise that Ken singing in his lower register is really nice, but his boastful rapping in the first half of the first chorus really surprised me because I didn't know he could be this invested. I really love the lyrics to this song as they reflect on where the band is at in their career. And as each one of their songs contains different themes, this one is no exception as they compare their hardworking journey to gold mining. As we all know that gold represents success. I just wish they could have made that comparison to diamond mining, since we all know that they were diamonds in the rough when they first started out. And as talented as they are, the sky is the limit. On a side note, I just saw their live performance on the Wish 107.5 bus, and I love the fact that they were getting the crowd hyped and shouting their ad-libs with enthusiasm. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please like, share, and subscribe for more music reviews like this. Also, comment down below on what other songs and artists you want me to review. Thank you.